Parks representative Monday through Friday during business hours. Please press zero. Hi, I had a question about carrying a firearm in the, the National Forest. Okay. Um, so if I'm going hunting or fishing, is it legal to to carry, open carry, like a 10 millimeter handgun? Yes. It is. In the forest. Okay. Only when I'm actually going fishing. Right. Um, and it, it, can it be concealed or should it be open carry or does it matter? It should be open carry. Okay. And does that apply to all the national forests in California? The only place it doesn't apply is private property. All right. There's your answer. If you didn't hear it, it is legal to open carry while fishing or hunting. In fact, you have to open carry when hunting or fishing. Just when you're not doing those things, it's got to be locked in the trunk, unloaded. Otherwise, while we're fishing and out there, if a mountain lion or a bear comes out, you're ready. So I'll be ready. part that had me nervous before I even left my house and you could probably see why I don't know if the camera picks it up but that thing gets my heart racing only one way to pass so let's do it all right y'all here we go so scary up here Well, just past the scary spot and now there's a little herd of deer. I don't even know what you call a herd of deer, but they're right there because there's nowhere to pass for them either. And I've never even been past this spot myself and I've got 15 more miles to go before I get to the fishing spot. Let's walk up to these deer and see what they're up to. Where you guys going, huh? Hey man, stuck on the road? Do not approach wildlife. Probably a good idea. I don't want to get stomped out out here. All right, let's continue. Wrong way, bud. Get back to your family. Get back to your family. Bro, this guy just climbed up that cliff just like nothing. All right, all right, all right. I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Only way down is by walking or by bike. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I haven't seen a car for the last hour. I have no cell phone reception and I'm about to go on a five mile bike ride deep into the woods. 
So I got my protection. And just like I called that ranger this morning, he says, if you're gonna carry while you're fishing or hunting, you have to open carry. And I am going fishing. That's the thing, you have to have a hunting license or a fishing license to open carry. Now I had this designed from a local guy in Salinas called Edge Concepts. And this is a, so this is a, this is a Glock 20, a 10 millimeter pistol. And take a look at the rounds. I got this mainly for bears. I got uh, switching between hollow point and uh, non-hollow point. And that's just because I was talking to my friend Andrew and he was saying that the non-hollow point ones, sometimes they'll go straight through a body without hitting any vital organs. And the bear or whatever that's trying to get you, they'll still come straight at you. But the hollow point, those will expand on contact and more likely to damage a vital organ. And you don't want a big old bear coming at you even after you shoot it five or six times. This is not a political statement at all. The fact of the matter is I just want to go home safe to my family and avoid any instances that would prevent that. So I'll be riding around. There'll be one in the chamber and I chose this right here because I wanted to wear waders with it and I also wanted to have my chest GoPro on it. But uh, here's a closer look at this holster. Like I said, this was made by Edge Concepts in Salinas. It's got that holster right there. I could take out the gun, but also it'll stay in there nice and tight. I probably don't even need this extra security strap, but in case I'm biking and I fall over, it could, it, and you see how it's in there pretty tight, but you really gotta push it, pull it to get it out. But just to add a little added security, have it in like that. Now, just in case I fall out, it won't be able to come out. The only thing with that, you gotta be extra careful because if you do get attacked by a bear or something and you're trying to get it out, you just gotta keep your cool and then just do it fast and calm and collected. So that's gonna be on me. And uh, yeah, while we're talking about safety and stuff, let's talk about something else that I bring out here all the time when I'm alone that I don't mention on every video. So pretty common to have when you go out into the woods or something like that, or even in the ocean, a satellite phone where you could send text messages even if you don't have reception. But that's plan B. This is plan A if I ever have to, if I ever do get in trouble. It's a personal locator beacon and it will send my GPS coordinates to the local emergency contacts and also to my own personal emergency contacts. All I have to do is press a button just in case I break my leg and I can't walk way out there, get bit by a rattlesnake, get attacked by some wild animal. Always have this with me when I'm out in the woods or when I'm on the ocean or when I'm on the cliffs. I always carry that with me just in case something happens. Now, last but not least, I finally restocked on these 50 plus UPF shirts. You can get them at fishermanslife.net. These are the ones with the built-in net gator. They also have a hood. Also, the sides are perforated so it allows air through and it's a super quick drying material. So if you want to get yours, fishermanslife.net. They've been out of stock for a while, but finally got them back. Now, let's go fishing. Hopefully, we don't have to use this thing. All right, y'all, here we go. Let's let the real adventure begin. Well, so far, so good. Not exactly sure how far down the river is from this trail, but I know I'm way up in the canyons. I'm also testing out this Fisherman's Life e-bike, fat tire e-bike. This is the third sample I've gotten and it's just not right. So I'm just gonna keep on testing until it's right. And then when I know it is right, then I'll finally release it. But this is just a test run. So far, so good. And as you can see, I got my backpack on. I've got my GoPro on. I could have my waders on and my Glock 20 is still accessible right there on my chest so i'm gonna focus on biking man it's beautiful dude look man there hasn't been a car on this road for who knows how long no tracks whatsoever i'm trying to keep my eyes peeled Deep here. Oh, so steep. I feel like a mountain goat on a bike. Man, it's like straight down. I gotta put my weight backwards or else I might fall. Ooh, even here, look at this. 
I might have to just walk this spot. I'll roll down slowly. Woo, man. That is steep as heck. Oh, here we go. Ah. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. Switchbacks, probably about 10 switchbacks. Oh, you see the water down there? Dang, look at this. This is beautiful. Whoa, a car. Look what happens when you drive a car off the cliff. Dang. Look at this. I've never been here in my life. Check this out, y'all. Wow. There's one thing I forgot to tell you that I brought. Something you probably wouldn't expect, but now I have it. I bought a brand new knife, Kershaw. I think it's a three and a half inch, but it's, a, it's no joke out here. So I wanna have a nice, sharp, good quality knife. Now the only problem I see right around here is that this hole might be a little shallow, but there's only one way to find out. So I'm gonna get rigged up and go fishing. Take a look what I bought this morning also before coming out here for bait. What do we have here? This is what I'm gonna be using for bait. Got these for 20, for 10 cents a piece. Live crickets. Wow, man, this is so awesome. Look at this, this is so cool. It is slippery though, so I gotta make sure I'm very careful. I don't wanna bump my, my head. No idea if there's any fish here at all, but we're going to test out the theory. I'm hoping that this place is so secluded, even if the pool is small, they just had all the time in the world to grow. Now, let's grab us a nice grasshopper. I think they bite too, do they? You know how I don't like these creepy crawlies, but look at over here, grab him by his head. Now I was told the best way to keep them alive is to go straight through the butt. So I'm gonna go through the butt one time and he told me that that should keep them alive for a long time. A live cricket. You think anything can resist that? We're gonna find out soon. Hey, he looks good. He's crawling around the rocks. I always thought you had to hook them from the thorax. You know how these insects have the head, thorax, abdomen? I always thought the thorax, but apparently you wanna avoid that and you wanna just get as close to the abdomen part as possible. So here's the first deep pool. See if there's any bites here. All right, no bites there. Going a little bit farther. This part looks really slippery and I don't really have anything. Oh, let's see if there's anything in this pool. It's gonna cast out right there. Let it fall in and see if any trout come out of these holes. And I was hoping I wouldn't have to cross here and get my feet wet, but it looks like that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do. And I know that this is, oh my God, that is as slippery as you can possibly get. Damn, I wanna get over here, but I don't wanna cross this super slippery stuff. All right, gotta be careful, gotta be, Oh, extra careful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is like walking on ice. Oh, geez. I'm just slipping right there. Ah, all right. Note to self. Note to self. Don't get your feet wet because these rocks become impossible to walk on. Water's a little more calm here, so this cricket should be able to sink down to the strike zone a little easier, I would hope. All right, I'm thinking if there's any fish, they're gonna be right over here where the water's 
got a little oxygenated, which means I might have to throw on another split shot. I think I will do that right now. I'm going super old school now. I do have the fly rod and I do have the crickets, but I'm going with the old school worm. The old school night crawler. If there's anything here, they will bite this. If there's not, I gotta change spots. Fish on, baby! What is it? A little rainbow, wild rainbow trout on the night crawler. Looks like a little brook, a little brown trout. Oh, that's a nice little fish. All righty. Well, there you go. A nice little brown trout. I wet my hands and ah, even that would be a nice little fish stick, wouldn't it? That would be a nice little fish stick. But I'm gonna let him go. Hopefully he's got a bigger brother down there. But it is also possible that this is all there is down there. All right, see you later. If there's fish in the river, the worm will get it. Let's see if there's another one, a bigger one. I'm just watching the line. Oh, there it is, another one. All right, all right, we got, we got fish. Little fish, again, didn't get hooked. I'm just watching the line and every once in a while it goes tight. The line is my indicator. Last little spot here and then I'm gonna try to find another spot. I don't know if anything else is accessible, but we'll try. This would be such a nice shower. Oh, fish on. Nice, what the heck? Wasn't expecting that. It was one of those small brown trout again. All right, that's a pattern. A lot of these small fish I don't know, I might have to change spots completely. All right, it's deeper here. This is where I got the other bites. So I'm gonna set up right here. Man, first let me go, I'm gonna go check out this other spot. There's another pool over here, it looks like. Damn, how cool is this? Check out this waterfall. Wow. Man, what a place. Look at that, there's probably some fish down there. But no way I can get down there. No way. Dude, look at this. This is crazy. So cool. But I can't fish it. I can't get down there, no way. That's probably a 40 foot cliff. Got a full worm on this time. Going for the big boys. The big boys hanging out here, if there are any. Not bad cast, but I'll let it go. Oh, fish, decent size, decent size one. Oh, nice, what is this? Wow, dude, rainbow, rainbow brown or what? What is this? Dude, that's so cool. You know what? I wanna put him over here. Let's see if I can use do a live well with this fish. No, not a good idea. Probably not a good idea. I do want to keep him alive though. Wow, look at that thing. Dude, I'm gonna eat that. Dude, I'm totally gonna to eat this. This is big enough to eat. I don't know what it is though. What is this? This does not look like a normal rainbow trout to me. Well, maybe it is. Is it? It's kind of small, but man, I got other things to go with it, so. That's a decent meal. I will take that. With my new knife, I'll just brain him. I'll brain him, quick and easy, painless death. Sorry, bud, 
Sorry, real quick, real quick. There you go. All right, done. Small fish, but good eater size. Now, if I could catch one more little guy like that, dude, that's a meal. Damn right. All right, that first cast was not a good cast, so now I'm gonna focus on getting a good cast. That's a little bit better. There's a nice fish. A nice one right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. What is it? Is it another brownie? Woo! Wow. Oh, that's a nice rainbow. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that's a good sized fish. Beautiful colors on him. Barely hooked though. Oh, he came off. Oh, he came off just out of reach. Oh no. Dude, the colors on that thing were beautiful. Oh man. That was a nice looking fish. Oh, I set the hook hard on him too. Dang. Dude, that was a nice fish. I wanted to eat that one. I could see him in my dinner plate right when I hooked him. Man, I think I may be out of luck. You know, there's probably not that many fish in here. And that was probably one of the better sized ones too. Dang, man. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more casts and then I'm just gonna eat. I'm getting hungry. I haven't eaten all day today. Shoot, if only I caught that last fish, this would be a heavy meal, but I got enough food here where it's still gonna be a great meal. Heating up my cast iron. I've got some Italian sausage. I'm just gonna start with this and use the oil from it to cook the fish. Nice to have a sharp knife. It does not get much nicer than this. Middle of a canyon, middle of nowhere, waterfalls behind me, meat cooking up, avocado ready to go, fresh caught fish in my hand. Yep, oh, that was a male. Almost spawning time, I see. All right, some guts here. Oh, it looks like he has something in his stomach. Why don't we take a look? Uh, little midges. Little midges. Oh my gosh, I almost grabbed the fish and threw him out in the water. Cut this bloodline out here, just improve the taste a bit. I got a few comments about these butane canisters and a bigger one like this, this will last me at least five or six meals. So they do go quite far and they're great for a backpacking trip. You know, I'm thankful I didn't have to use this gun, but it's so nice to have it. You know, it just gives you that extra feeling of security when you're out here, especially alone. And it's also good to have confirmed that with the park ranger for the national parks in California. You can have a gun and you must open carry it or else how would they know that you have it? Let's cut its head off. Taking out as many bones as I can for now, but I do like to keep the trout whole when I cook it. Hey, that'll actually fit perfectly in the pan. I'll just cut the tail off. I like to keep the trout whole when I cook it, even if it's a big one, I don't like to fillet it because once it's cooked, you can peel all the meat off. Even the pin bones will stay on the spine and you'll have a boneless fillet. But just taking off these little bottom fins, that helps a lot to just get rid of the small extra amount of bones. In fact, there's one more bone here. I could just take that out easy too. Well, the Italian sausage is done. I don't really have anywhere to put it, but this rock is clean. It's clean by mother nature. So this will be my plate tonight. 
All right, just what I was looking for. We got a little bit of oil here, but not quite enough. All right, a little butter for the fish. Just like that. Perfect. All right, we got our butter and our fish. We're just gonna hold that fish down just so it doesn't curl up on us. And in just a few minutes, we'll just peel all that meat right off. Oh, here's my, I was looking for that. It was stuck to the bottom of the pan. All right, that's just about ready to flip. Oh yeah, nice golden brown on them. I bet I could just peel right out the bones out still. See, look at that, all the pin bones come out and I'm not even done cooking this side yet. There's a boneless fish right there. Yep, that's all good. Pour a little bit of the oil out. Keep most of it though. Sausage back in. A little avocado. Doesn't even need seasoning because the Italian sausage. What a great match. Avocado, Italian sausage, and trout. Now the only question is how this bike is going to do going up these hills. Dude, look how steep this hill is coming up. But I have no issues right now going up this hill. No extra bolts of power that I'm afraid it's gonna make me wheelie. Now this is the extra steep part. Let's see what happens here. I'm going in the lowest gear possible. Putting my weight forward. I might have to hop off here. Always gotta play it safe. Man, that is hella steep. I'm lightly throttling it as I go up. Look at that. But I think I can make it up here, no problem. Ooh, yeah, man, this thing's got power. Easy. Didn't even break a sweat. I'm back at the road. Man, this thing handled those hills like butter. I'm gonna have a version of this available in 2023, changing the frame, uh, but keeping the mid-drive, 4.8 inch tires, uh, rod holders in the front. It's a great bike. So working on this, making sure it's perfect before I let it go out. And thanks again, always, for watching the videos. And I will be out here on another adventure soon enough. Peace, y'all. Don't forget about these UPF shirts. Peace.